it is back to school time around here and I have created this pencil dispenser out of a straw dispenser. I think it turned out so cute and this is a fun tutorial, so let's get started. I am taking a straw dispenser that I got off of Amazon and I am going to alter the 32 plump template to fit the straw dispenser and how I did that is I just measured from top to bottom then around and edited the size in silhouette program. I then took a pencil and went around and traced how far the lid comes down on the dispenser and then taped that section off along with the bottom. To have the top and bottom taped off, you're going to take a sanding block and just give it a light sand. Once that is completed, we are going to cut out our template on some vinyl. It doesn't matter what you use. I usually just use a color that I have a lot of. And then we are going to apply our transfer paper, paper over the top. I am now using my Cami Page Boutique Ultimate Tumblr Tool. I will have a link for you in the description with a discount code, so make sure you check that out. And I'm just using a white chalk pencil and creating a straight line going up my tumbler vertically. I then am going to take the backing of the template and fold it back about an inch and line it up with the line that we made on the dispenser. Then I'm going to slowly pull back the backing of the template and then just push firmly with my hand to make sure there are no bubbles or wrinkles when the template is applied. Once your template is almost all the way to the beginning of the template, you're going to stop and release that transfer paper and pull it back a few inches. And then you can, can continue to apply your template, making sure the cut lines match up. Now you can remove the rest of the transfer tape that is left on the template. And then we are going to go back to our electrical tape or you can use painter's tape. I just like electrical tape because it has a little bit of a stretch and we are going to tape off those top and bottom rims again. I don't think I mentioned this before, but the reason why I taped them off in the first place was just to protect the top and bottom rim from getting sanded. We do not want these portions to look scratched up at all. And then I did remove the tape before I applied my template. And then now we are reapplying. I have all of these really fun cheetah prints in pastel colors in my shop and I just picked five of my favorite colors and then I took them over to my silhouette and just cut one pencil body out of each pattern. Um, sometimes in silhouette you can release compound path on these templates and select the sections that you want or sometimes that doesn't work and I just use my knife tool and cut away the sections that I don't need. Once I have each one cut out I am just going to remove that piece of the template and place down kind of like a puzzle just fitting that right in between the vinyl template and matching that up and applying that to our pencil dispenser.
I'm just going to continue removing a piece of the template and then placing a different color of the cheetah print all the way around the straw dispenser. Are going to remove the pieces of the template that are the sharpened pieces of the pencil not the lead part just right below that and then I am just going to base coat that with a tan chalk paint you can use acrylic paint if you wish while that dries I'm going to remove the portion right below the pencil that would be like the middle part of the pencil and paint that a gray Once the top of your pencils are dry, we are now going to take some of the same color of paint and glitter glue. I concentrate on about a 50-50 ratio of each, and then I'm going to go right back over those sections. And while that glitter glue and paint mixture is still wet, we're going to take our glitter, which this one is called You Wish, and sprinkle it on each section. Now we are going to go back to the bottom of our pencil and take the same gray we base coated it with and add some glitter glue and mix that together, paint that on, and then I am going to take the color dime piece and apply that to the glitter glue and paint mixture while that is still wet. Continue going around your dispenser until all of the gray pieces are coated with glitter. And then we are going to go back up to the lead part of the template and remove all of those and base coat those black. While those dry, we are going to go to the bottom of the pencil, which looks like the eraser, and remove all of those pieces of the template and base coat those a light pink. Now we are going to mix some glitter glue into our black paint. Go over where we already base coated the lead of the pencils and apply the glitter color formal. Then we are going to go back to the bottom of the eraser part and apply the glitter glue and paint mixture. And then we are going to apply one of my favorite pinks called Chic Pink. Now we are going to go back up to the top and remove one of the hearts by the pencils. Only remove one at a time because we are going to be alternating colors here. This first one I am doing in a blue, which I will be using um, the succulent glitter from my pastel collection. These pastels are absolutely gorgeous and some of my favorite glitters I carry. I am just going to base coat this first heart and while that dry I'm going to take off every other heart so they're not touching if that makes sense and then base coat that one 
Once that is base coated, I will go back to the blue, add my glitter glue and paint mixture, and apply the coordinating color. Continue going around, removing one heart at a time, getting it base coated and glittered. The glitter colors I am using today is succulent is the blue, prickly pear is the green, leopard is the yellow, safari is the orange, and then in the wild is the purple. Now we are going to remove the final two pieces of our template, which is the top and bottom, and we're going to base coat that white. Let that dry and then add our glitter glue and paint mixture, mixture to each section and apply the glitter color bubbles. I'm going to let that dry and then spray seal this really well with a clear spray sealer. While that is drying, I'm going to move on to the lid. I just take and screw off the top section to remove the clear lid part. And then I am going to base coat this with a white paint. Once that paint is dry, we're going to take the same color and add some glitter glue and apply that to our lid. I have just a dowel that I actually sharpened in a pencil sharpener so I could stick it in the hole and move it around without touching it. Once that has, is coated with your paint and glue mixture, we're going to take the same white glitter called Bubbles and apply it to the lid. Once that glue and paint mixture has dried completely, we are going to add UV resin to our lid. And I just take that same sharpened dowel and plop the lid through the hole on there and then apply thin coats of UV resin until your lid is smooth. You may need to sand in between coats just to get a really smooth finish. Make sure you follow the manufacturer's directions on how long each UV resin should be cured for. Also check the wattage on your lamps to make sure that they are high enough to give UV resin a full cure. Now your spray sealer on your dispenser should be fully dry and we are going to add a layer of epoxy. Once you have your epoxy applied, you're going to immediately pull the tape off of the top and bottom. Now this template does come with the outline of the hearts and the pencils. Just when you purchase the file, you are going to have to ungroup it and slide the outline off of the page, cut the template out, and then cut the outline out separately. I have cut mine out of this really pretty opal vinyl and I have lined that up perfectly with the pencils and the hearts on my dispenser. I did that by taking off the backing of the vinyl and then placing the vinyl on top of a piece of parchment paper. This will help you align it perfectly by seeing through the parchment paper and making sure the lines line up perfectly. Once it does, I will just start removing a little bit of that parchment paper at a time and placing down the vinyl. Remove the transfer paper and then we are going to re-tape off the top and bottom of our dispenser. Mm -hmm. 
add your final layer of epoxy and don't forget to remove your tape. And here is our straw dispenser all finished. I have turned this into a pencil dispenser for a really cute teacher gift. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also look for me on all other social media platforms under Diamonds and Dust.